Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Code a Menu Array and Template. And in this video, we're going to be creating a couple PHP pages and we're going to be populating it with some dynamic menu items. And we're going to use PHP arrays to create some menu items that we are going to be pulling from in our menu templates. All right, let's do this. Okay, so first off, I just want to show you what the instructor version of this Okay, so first off, I want to show you what the final website looks like, in particular the menu section, so that you know what we are going to be building as we're doing some PHP and everything like that. I want you to have some context and a visual image in your head of what you're actually going to be building. So here's the menu.php page, and it has a basic overview of our four menu items that we're going to be creating. And each of these menu items are a link, and they go to their own separate uh, pages. But in fact, they're all using the same page, which is called dish.php. And dish.php is a template where we'll be using some PHP to pull in the info from an array for each of these respective menu items. So if I were to click on Club Sandwich, I will get info about Club Sandwich. Notice here that I'm in the dish.php template, and then I have a question mark, item equals club sandwich. That's going to pull in the club sandwich information into the dish.php template and display it here on the page. If I go back and I choose a different item, like Mexican barbacoa, I have the same dish.php template, so same layout, but new information. And that's a really huge part of using PHP to program dynamic websites. So for example, Facebook has millions of users and each of those users have a profile page, but Facebook isn't going to code millions of profile pages individually. They'll just code a profile template and then pull in the information depending on who's logged in so they can see their profile. So you can see how efficient PHP or other similar programming languages can be when you scale it up on a really large scale like Facebook. But even in a smaller scale like this, if you have a restaurant website and you have menu items, you could have 10 or 20 or 30 menu items. And instead of having individual pages for every single one of those, you could just have it be dynamic and have one single template or a couple templates for different items. So that's why you would use PHP templates. All right, so why don't we jump into our code editor and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your arrays.php file that you created a little while back. You should have a couple of arrays in there, your nav menu and your team members. We're going to add another array in here, and it's going to be your menu items. So let's do that. So this will be menu items. Go ahead and create the variable, call it menu items, and set up an array. Perfect. And within our array, we're going to add multiple other arrays like we did in the previous two arrays. But the difference here is instead of just writing out a straight up array like so and putting our key value pairs within it, we're actually going to do something a little different. We're going to give the array itself a custom key name because currently, if you just put array, it's going to have a key but the key will be a numeric value. So this one would be zero because it's the first item within this array. So instead of having it just be a plain array with a, a key, um, the, the, with a numeric key, we're actually going to give it a custom key name like so. So club dash sandwich equals, and there we go. So basically, it's the same thing as if you look up here, we have a key and a value pair separated by the equals and the arrow or the greater than symbol. Down here, it's an array, but it also has a key and what will be a value. So everything in the array is a value. So arrays can also have a key, a custom key, when it's within the array here. And that's what we're doing so that we can access this information instead of having to look for it within the array. And you'll see why um, in just a little bit when we start coding the template. So first off, we have our club sandwich. We're going to add our key value pairs. 
we're going to say title is obviously club sandwich price we're going to add a price price will be uh, an integer so just 11 blurb will be the little text blurb and I have lined up some bacon ipsum it's just bacon ipsum com there we go within our strings remember to separate it by a comma and then drink meaning uh, a suggested beverage to have with our club sandwich and I'm gonna say club soda seems fitting all right next up let's add another item so I'm just gonna copy this whole thing and paste it right after it and just change the text so instead of club sandwich we're gonna have dill dash salmon and remember here I'm putting a dash in between because we're gonna be using this text this key for the array um, in our URL so we need to have have no spaces and uh, I'd like it to be all lowercase with a dash in between so let's change the rest here lemon ampersand dill salmon the cost will be $18 and here I have some more bacon ipsum lined up there we go you can write your own blurb if you'd like and obviously if you're using this for your own website you, you're going to want to have the text be something else but I'm just going to use some bacon ipsum fancy wine will be the suggested drink beverage with this all right next up we're going to add another item and it will be super salad super salad will be the name the super salad and actually I'm gonna put a uh, sub tag sup actually means super script so the text that will be within the sub tag will actually be small and uh, up a little bit so you'll see what I mean so if you have like the registered trademark which we're actually gonna be doing ampersand reg semicolon that will give us the registered trademark sign so it's a small little bit of text that's super scripted above the text and you'll see what that looks like price $34 and here I have some veggie ipsum lined up because it's a super salad all right there we go and our suggested beverage a jug o water perfect next one last but not least we have our Mexican barbacoa very good the title here will be Mexican barbacoa barbacoa the price $23 very expensive and uh, just to be random I have some cupcake ipsum lined up boom okay and we're gonna do a beer with a lime suggested beverage perfect so save that and you have your menu items array in order to use this array and make it actually um, worth our while we need to create a couple different pages let's first start by creating our menu.php file so within your student folder create a new file call it menu.php make sure it's in student there we go open up menu.php within menu.php it's going to be associated with this nav tab right here so if I click that I'll go to menu.php currently it is fully empty let's change that start off by adding PHP script at the very top of your template let's define a constant and the constant oh my goodness there we go is the title and we're gonna call this page menu and then pipe Franklin's fine dining so there's our title okay include the header includes header that's where the header is located and don't forget to include your footer 
Now if I check this out, make sure I've got everything in there. There we go, there's our basic skeleton. Now we need to add some content. Let's start off here by adding a div with the ID of menu-items. Put a comment there so I know where it's ended. Within our menu items div tag, we're going to have a level one header, our delicious menu. Paragraph tag, put a little bit of text in here, like our team. Our menu is very small. Let's throw in an M dash, but dang, does it ever pack a punch. There you go. Creative copywriting right there, provided to you by Brad Hussey. Emphasis tag. Click any menu item to learn more about it. All right, there we go. So add that text. After that text, we're going to have a horizontal rule because it's that fancy squiggly graphic that I created. And then let's add an unordered list. And in here, we're going to use our for each loop to access the menu items and put them in an unordered list. Okay, PHP. I'm going to close that over here. For each menu items as. This is where we're going to do something different. Dish, and that is the key, and then the value will be item. And then we're going to open the curly brace. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, let me show you. So here I want to show you at tuxradar.com, this guy has a really good explanation of the two ways of iterating through arrays. More specifically, I want to show you the for each loop. So the for each loop, there are a couple ways of accomplishing the same thing. So it has two different versions, and the easiest way looks a bit like this. And we've done this before, for each array as value, and then print the value. We've done that a couple times before, in fact, maybe a handful of times before in the past few lectures. But down here, we are going to be doing something different. So the second way to use for each does allow you to extract keys. And that's what we want to be able to do. We want to be able to extract the key. So it looks like this for each array as key value, print key value, whatever you want to put in here. So that's what we're doing here. So we need to be able to extract the key in our for each loop. So here we have for each menu items as dish item. So key value. If we go back to our arrays PHP file, you can see we did menu items, array, and then we have a key and a value pair here. So we want to be able to extract this little tidbit of information and then carry on and also access this info because this is going to be important. Let me show you why. Go back to your menu.php file. So for each menu items as dish item, we're going to call it dish and item. It could be literally called key and val, but I want it to be called dish item. Perfect. In here, I'm going to add a list item. In the list item, I'm going to have an A tag. Okay, so within our A tag, we are going to add the href attribute here, and it's going to be dish.php. We haven't created dish.php yet, but we will. And then, question mark, this is where we're going to be accessing a query string, which I will explain in the next lecture. So just follow along right now. Item equals... Now, this is where we would want to write something like dill-salmon, but we want it to be dynamic. We don't want to have to do something like this. We don't want to do that and change each of these values, and then it's just hard-coded. It's not, it's not dynamic, and it's not scalable. So this is what we're going to make dynamic using PHP echo dish. Boom. Semicolon. That's simple. So this is going to access the key within the menu items multi-dimensional array. So menu items as dish item. So we're grabbing dish. So this will spit out the key within our 
menu array. So dill salmon, Mexican barbacoa, super salad, so on and so forth. So that's that. And now we want to echo the title. So let's PHP echo item. Now we're accessing the item. So this is the value. And within there, we have uh, key value pairs. So we're going to access the title key within there. There you go. So there's a title. Now, within that line, we actually have some superscripted, uh, where we have a price in there. But first, we have a superscripted dollar sign. Very simple and straightforward. And then we're going to PHP echo the item again. But this time, we're going to grab the price. Close that PHP tag. And then make sure you close this first PHP tag. PHP script. You opened it up here, closed up the PHP script, and you had an opening curly brace. So that's still left open in our PHP world. We want to close that down here. We did that so that we can put some HTML within our PHP scripts. That allows you to do that. Save that. Now, go to your menu.php file. Check it out. So we have the the text that we added, static text, we have our fancy little horizontal rule. Here we have our menu items and their links. And take note of the, the URL that it is trying to access down in the corner here. You can see dish.php query string item equals club sandwich, dill salmon, super salad, Mexican barbacoa. Now that allows us to create a dish.php template and pull in the info that we need. But first, I noticed one little uh, housekeeping thing I, didn't, I don't really like. I have the price here included in the link. I don't like how it looks. I don't want it to be part of the link. So just move the A tag to the end of the title here. Close it before the sub tag, save that, and you should be good to go. There we go. So now that isn't a link, it's just the price. All right, so next up, we're going to have to create our dish.php page, but we're not doing that in this lecture because I don't want it to be too long. So let's do that in the next lecture. See you there.